timer 100 seconds. All right, so this is called the viewport. This is where you see anything that's inside of the workspace, okay? And a, a good segue is that the workspace is inside of the Explorer, right? Explorer basically contains every single item that you would ever need that affects the game in one way or another. Properties, when you click on something, you, you gain access to the properties of that thing. Fairly simple. This is the output window. This will just, you know, give you any, any print statements or any errors that happen to your code. This is where you can quickly run code while inside, while actually like playing the game without having to rely on the script. You know, this is just a bunch of other stuff, settings that you might need eventually. Getting onto the script, because I know that, you know, all of you came here for that basically, right? The way you create a variable is you say local. First of all, very important, right? You give it a name, one, two, not one, two, three, var, whatever, right? And you can make it equal to anything. Thing. Would you make it equal to one, two, three? Make it equal to uh, some text. You can make it equal to you know false or true or whatever a vector three. Any value that you can think of. You can even make it equal to an item. And the way you do it, for example, if I wanted to make it equal to, I'm getting tired of talking about. If I'm getting, if I want to make it equal to a base plate, then the way I would do it is I would I would say workspace because it's inside of the workspace dot base plate, right? So now I can I, this variable is equal to the base plate. That's pretty cool. Now the other things is that we have events and functions, and I gotta hurry this up, right? So if I do get the base plate, right? An event is basically something that will fire when something happens. For example, the base plate has an event called touched and touch ended. These will fire whenever something happens. For touched, whenever another part touches the base plate, this will fire. I can connect it to a function, which will also give me some information, some data. In, in this case, it's going to give me the other part that touched, okay? The other thing that you need to note of is that there are things called functions, okay? And basically functions, they do something. So they can destroy the base plate, then they can clone the base plate, and they can add tag. And we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.